another day of video content making. We're going on the baby bike today. Welcome to the third and final of the trio of videos on the gentleman's boys day out, boys tour, whatever you want to call it. This is our third and final effort. This one's actually in the center of Patia and we're going to be starting this afternoon in uh, Soy Honey. Sorry. No problem, sir. Um, so yeah, so we're going to just take a walk down behind me at uh, Soy Honey there. Uh, we start, if you look here, we are actually on uh, Soy Bacal. Um, right at the top end. It's now a one way to the other way. So I'm just gonna walk. If it's on me, you get less uh, issues of, you know, people complaining and stuff. So this is not a, it's just a normal soy, you know. We've got a variety of clubs, massage parlors. Let me just put it the other way, rather than look at me. That's more fun to look down that way. So yeah, I'll do a walk by. It's, it's a place I've never been myself. So, as I say, I can't vouch for anything. I, can't, I don't know what goes on inside. I don't know the hours they work. I don't really like to stick cameras in people's faces because it's not about that. This is just to give you guys a location. And this is it, the Honey Lounge here on Soy, soy Honey. Honey, spelt differently to Honey of the Streets itself. I'll walk down a little bit more so it doesn't look so obvious that I'm pointing them out because I think, uh, People can be uncomfortable and I, I don't blame them, you know. So many people make judgments unnecessarily. So I'm not going to walk all the way down. That would take you down to uh, Second Road, Patia Second Road. We're not going that way. We are in fact going back up this way. So I'll walk a little bit. I'll swing it back around again. You can see on the right there. I'm not going to point, obviously, but you can hear what I'm saying. Honey Lounge, Offy Bar, Voodoo, Pattaya. Don't know what they are. So yeah. That's number one for the day. So, you know, we're trying to keep consistency, although I wasn't very consistent on the John Tien video in that we went to 11 places. In this case, we're only going to go to nine again, like we did on the first day. So nine stops on this tour. Uh, not all completely central Patiel, you'll see. We're going to go out a little bit in the end, but it's probably worth going out there, I would say, because that is what I have been to before. So can at least say a little bit about what goes on. Okay. Guys, see you at location number two. Right, we're back on the move. Here we are at Soy Lenki. Soy Lenki. This is our second stop for the day. Now, please do bear in mind if you guys are shouting down the camera, but you missed that one and you missed the other one. I know, I'm not showing every single gentleman's club here in Patia. There's just too many in Central. So I just, if I know a little bit about it, I think it's probably best to show you that one because I can talk about it. I've just literally passed two but I can't really tell you anything about them because I've not been in. So the next two, this one and the next one, I think I've been in and I will, uh, I'll let you see it in the diff. Just trying to get the traffic to clear. That's why I'm pointing on me because otherwise you're just going to see cars and trucks. I need to actually get across the other side of the road. Yeah, that here is a madhouse, guys. It's not, not my favorite place at all. I have to say, socially, much prefer John Tien, much prefer Pratimnak. <clears throat> this is just, it's just basically tourist madness, it really is. If you're here for a right rocking party, you're in the right place, 100% in the right place. Okay, so guys, uh, here we go. Coming up on my right is a La Poste Bar Club. This is a gentleman's club. It is a gentleman's club that is interesting to go into, without a doubt. I cannot remember for the life of me how much the uh, drinks were, but yeah, it's, it's one I would definitely go and see uh, because, well, I think you should go in yourself and find out what happens when you buy somebody a drink in there. So I would recommend it for a bit of fun only, bear in mind, okay? I'm not someone who's sort of lives my life in this sort of environment, you know. 
honestly nowadays do a lot of this just for research and stuff I, I, I don't don't sort of frequent the places but I have in the past so that's the truth of the matter so guys that there is number two for the day next stop number three I think in some small ways my route planning today uh, needs a little bit of attention. So this is, <laughs> this is club number three coming up. And actually we could have done this before we did the post. So this is now on a soy pothole as it's known. And I have to say it looks like there's been a bit of effort to, uh, you know, to fill in some of the potholes. It's not, it's not as bad as it has been in the past, I can tell you. So it's... Uh, it's a place I have been... Have I been? I'm just thinking, have I been here before? I've definitely been on this road before, but I'm not 100% sure if I've been to this place. So there's a couple of places I haven't been, and uh, I'm passing those now, so we're not discussing those today, because you would have seen them on other channels anyway, so I'm not... I'm just trying to find a few places that... Uh, excuse my sniffing. A few places that I haven't seen. Oh, yes, yes, I have a thing I've been there. Okay, so here it is, guys, coming up. Up here is the High Rollers Sports Bar and Gentlemen's Club. Okay, here it is in all its glory. I've been in here. Um, honestly, uh, not my kind of place. I just, I don't know what it is. I can't put my finger on it, but honestly, it's not, not for me, this place. But I bet you that a lot of you guys will enjoy it. If this is a it's what I would call a commercialized gentleman's club. It's, it's not so intimate, it's not so small and private, but I'm telling you folks, you're gonna, some of you will love this. So that is my pick for number three. Number three, gentleman's pub crawl, gentleman's club crawl here in uh, Patia Central. And, and I have literally just passed two to uh, well-known gents clubs. Um, the reason I'm not pushing them is they actually have their own channel, so there's no point in me promoting them. Right, guys, on to number four. What will it be? So a bit of bonus footage. I'm just walking down a little bit more. Uh, there's all sorts of <coughs> Oh. Bloody bike kicked up a whole shitty load of dust into my throat. Yeah, those are different places down here. Haven't been to most of them. You know, it's it's a proper party paradise if this is what you're after. It has its place, 100%. It definitely has its place. Just for me, not very often. In fact, I rather sell them these days. Okay, guys, here we go. Number four coming up. We are now at our number four for the day. It's just up on Third Road. It's a place I have been quite a few times. It's, it's definitely an experience to go in there. I think drinks are pretty reasonable, about 80 baht, and I, I believe the ladies' drinks about 150. It's worth going in to, uh, to see it, definitely. They've got a pool table in there. It's quite small, uh, but it's, yeah, you, you'll definitely have um, an experience in there and I, i'm not being rude or weird about it it's not i'm not talking about that but you know what i mean if all of these things are about having a different experience so let's just flip around and see where we're at oh there it is king's club i don't know why my camera's gone all weird on me but it's uh, really trying to point up quite high for some bizarre reason but anyway guys yeah this is it uh, I'll try and center this. There you go. So this is King's Club. You go in there, you ring the bell, pop inside and have yourself a drink and an afternoon of uh, enjoyment, I guess. But as I say, it's on Third Road, right next to 7-Eleven here, as you have to see just there. So it's number four. Number five coming up. A lot of these, because we're in Central Bataille, are quite, really quite close to each other. There's a couple on the outlying sides, but I, I wanted to take you there in here because they're, they're pretty good clubs. As I say, I'm not taking you around every single club in town, but yeah. Kings, number four. Hang around for number five. Okay, we're now at number five, and it's also on Third Road, and I have to tell you, the traffic is horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. So. I'm going to show you where it is, but I'm not going to try and cross the road. It's just silly. 
I've never been here before. Cannot tell you what it's like. I've just picked it out from our research and uh, I can just say it's another spot, which is literally, I would say, half a kilometer from, from Kings. So you go down on the right-hand side. I'll spin it around so you can have a look at it. This one, folks, is called Babylon Paradise. Now, I'll try and do some zoom. I'm not really happy to zoom on these things, but joystick. Okay, so we're gonna try and zoom in a little bit there. And as you can see, there it is. That is Paradise Lounge. Babylon Paradise Lounge. Open from 10 a.m. So I don't know what time that would close it, but yeah. 10 a.m. Babylon Paradise Lounge, number five. Oh, I've zoomed in myself. Let me zoom back. Oh, no, now it's gone the other way. Okay, zoom back out. Boy. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I'm still trying to learn this camera. Oh, the other way. Ah, there we go. Right, okay, 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 okay. It is a great camera, but when you get a new camera, you tend to, uh, <laughs> a bit of a learning curve. I don't tend to like using zoom on my cameras because it's digital zoom, it's not, sorry, yeah, it's not optical, so you're not gonna get the best quality, but it gives you the idea. There's a small entrance over there, you go in, and I'm only gonna guess that beer prices are probably the same as everywhere else, because you tend to find they, they kind of stick to the same price. It's within five or 10 baht, that's all. So yeah, there you go. Babylon Paradise Lounge, number five. Now, on to number six. Oh, to tell you what's exhausting doing this, in Pasia, it really is. It's just, it's just horrible. Anyway, not for me to decide what you choose to have your holiday, but here we go. The, the sacrifices we go through to give you guys content. So bear with us. Another destination. Now this one is, is not very far at all. I would say also about 500 meters. So you can carry on down third road and you make, take, make a left into this road, which I'm not, I can't see the name if I'm honest, but what is really interesting is we've found a bonus, a Brucey bonus. Yes, indeed. We were not expecting this, and I don't know if, what the story is, so I'm not going to ask the question, but I will turn around and I will show you what I mean. So, number, what's it, five, number six. Number six is Malibu Club, okay? It's here. It looks well closed up. It may not be, I just don't know, but here it is, right across the street, coming up. There it is, Malibu Club. Now, Okay, now what I wanted to show you, the Brucey bonus thing, okay, is this. I don't know if you can see, but right there is Babylon Gentlemen's Club. They must have another one. Yeah, there it is, Babylon Gentlemen's Club, Mark II, I'm guessing, right next door to Malibu Club. Now, that makes me wonder if they have perhaps shut down and opened up next door. I really don't know. I don't know the story, but either way, if you were to come down this route, you would in fact find that you have uh, got yourselves an extra bonus. Um, now let me try and again, I've got this thing, here we go. So, right, ready, and back. Oh yeah, yeah. he's got it all worked out, he's got it all worked out. So guys, there's a bonus. I'll say six and seven, but possibly I'm gonna hinge on six because, uh, no, no, you know what, I take that back. I take that back, I've just noticed the lights are on at Malibu. So yeah, that is six and seven. So that means we're gonna end up on 10 today, which is one extra bonus. So on to now eight, which was to be seven. So I will tell you the next stop is another short ride away. And it is mad in this place. Look at this place. It's just wall to wall traffic all the time. It never ever relents. How anyone wants to live anywhere around here is beyond me. That is why I do not live in Patia Central. And I just really don't want to either. So, right, there we go. We are now at the next stop. <laughs> I'm honestly starting to forget the numbers now. Uh, I think it's eight. Yeah, that's right, this is eight. Yeah, number eight, which should have been seven, but yeah, it's eight, number eight now. And actually there's another little bonus coming up because I seem to recall the way we're going, the way we're routing right now, I think there's uh, uh, three or four little bars that way. I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. Anyway, let's focus on what we've got back here. This, ladies and gentlemen, is called Whisper Lounge. Okay, I'll walk in a little bit for you. 
Well, they seem to do a bit of a blow and flow cannabis bar. That's next door. But yeah, essentially, guys, this is the actual gentleman's club part of it here. Whisper Lounge. I've been in there once and it was very well decorated. I have to say that it really was. It was exceptional. So, yeah, we uh, came quite a while ago. Quite a while ago, a couple of years, but yeah. Whisper Lounge, number eight on the more central Petia Gentlemen's Clubs tour. Oh, it's getting quite uh, quite warm doing this, I have to tell you. Um, yeah, it's hot. It's madly hot. It's, it's not so bad if you can, like stop off and have a drink, but we've kind of been just going at it just to get as much, much stuff done as we possibly can. We've got uh, two more stops with possible, possible bonus one down the road. I'll just take a little spin down there in case I'm right. And then we've got two sort of outlaying bars and that'll be the end of our, uh, our Patia edition of the Gentleman's Club tour from the outside. So on to number nine. We are now at number nine, which would have been the, bit, the end, but in fact, because we picked up a bonus, it's not the end, we've got one more to go after this. Now, interestingly about this place, I will we'll reveal it soon, but I, I just want to show you the area first because this is the most intriguing one for me. Um, I have been here before, so I can give you a little bit of info, but I just, just want you to uh, just see what I mean. Okay, I'm just going to show you, I'm not going to reveal where it is yet, but if you just look here, look, look where we are. I'll just give you a general scan, right? You can see we're kind of, we're kind of nowhere. We're literally nowhere. I mean, everything is shut up and quiet and nothing. And, and the truth be told, when I show you where we are, okay, you will not even believe this is a gentleman's club because, because folks, this is it right here. It is literally a telephone box. <laughs> it's like the TARDIS. You press the uh, hello button in there and somebody will come out and uh, and uh, and bring you in. And then uh, it takes you a few minutes for your eyes to acclimatize because it's like very dark and red. And then what I would suggest you do is have yourself a drink and then buy a nice lady a drink and uh, just see what happens in there. I think you might, uh, you might find it uh, an interesting experience. But I, I love, what I love about this club is it's just so innocuous, it, you just, you tell me, let's have another look. You tell me, you would look over here and go, oh, that's a gentleman's club, isn't it? Not on your Nelly. You just wouldn't, just, just fantastic. So this is the TARDIS of gentlemen's clubs. Would have been our grand finale, that was the idea behind it. But um, yeah, we, we've got another one to go. So we're gonna hit 10 today. So guys, that's number nine. Coming up, number 10. So we have finally reached the ultimate end of this particular day. And this one is number 10 on the list. It's slightly out of the way, uh, but definitely worth a visit. Here we go. You ready to see it? Boom, there it is. Uh, the Camel Toe Pub and Restaurant. I've uh, been here a few times. It's it's small. It's friendly enough. They, uh, I think they do. You can get food here. If yeah, I'm sure you can get food here. They do beers at normal pricing. It's uh, by any any bar, something like that. Um, you know, other services. That's all up to you guys. That's uh, not my business. So, yeah, this is our final stop for the day. The Camel Toe, and yeah, I would say it is worth a visit without a doubt. You can see quite a lot of. Uh, customers are here. I believe uh, a while ago, uh, around about, I think 6 p.m., they normally have sort of a show going on. So yeah, definitely worth a visit. Next up, uh, the summary. <laughs> so guys, this is the summary for day number three of the gentleman's day out at the gentleman's clubs. This is the Pattaya edition. And in all honesty, I'm not talking about the clubs per se, my least favorite routing absolutely by a mile patia is an absolute shit 
to ride around in. It's just manic. There's people who don't really know how to ride motorbikes. So that's a bit of advice, guys. If you don't know how to ride one, don't hire one, okay? You do need some experience to ride a bike in this country, but clearly that doesn't matter. Having said that, you know, we're here, we're in one piece, we've been around. Um, it's been a very, very interesting day. It's been a very hot day, I'll tell you that much. And what am I gonna do now? What is my recommendation right now, people? It is to go and to have a beer because I believe we've earned it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please use the links below. It'll give you the full routing and obviously change the routing around if you like. We'll also give you links to each of the places we've stopped at today and we hope it's been of use to you. Thanks again for joining us. Please remember to subscribe, to like, to share. We're trying to build the channel as I'm sure you've gathered now and uh, you can pop to the shop if you're interested in any merch. Once again, what a, what a quick advertising, blatant advertisement. Terrible, terrible. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks again. Have a fantastic evening.